I was thinking that it was about time to repair something again, and I get an email from Jesse, a friend and a client, and he had picked up this nice collectible Crosley Model 11-104U. So I picked it up from him, and of course this is the front, and some of the complaints that he has is it does play, but of course not real well, and the dial's not accurate. You can see that it's actually pointing in the wrong direction. And the on-off switch, uh, he says it doesn't uh, turn off. And uh, so we're going to check into that. Here's the back of the radio and a closer look at the sticker that's on the back. Now here I'm opening up the radio and it's a little dusty. We'll get to that a little later. Here's a closer look at the insides before I pull the chassis out. And here the chassis is out. And, of course, you can see the dirt a little bit better here. This is the front. And this is the underneath. And you can see that uh, those wax capacitors have gotten warm. Got bubbles on uh, some of them, or most of them. So they're going to be replaced, of course. And, of course, the electrolytic that uh, will be replaced also. And here's the wiring diagram of this radio. But the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, take a look at the switch and see if we can't uh, salvage the original switch on this radio. This switch has got a problem. Sometimes it stays on and like now, I've got the leads across the switch here. It's open. Normally, I don't spray the inside with WD-40, but this time I am. See if I can't loosen up that switch. And I'm just going to let it set for a while. Like that. And see if it'll come back to life. Don't know if it will, but it might. might have to take the switch apart. I've done that before. Anyway, we'll just let that set for a while. Okay, now the part that I didn't show was there's a clip that holds the back on. I used a small screwdriver. You can see it moves. And I just open that up a little bit and spritz a little WD-40 on it and then I turn the chassis this way and let it set for a couple of hours that way if there's any excess WD-40 dripping around it won't drip in this way it'll drip out of the radio Okay. So we may have saved this original switch. We'll do a little more testing, but I would like to keep that original if possible.
Well, like I said, I'll be doing some more testing of that switch. But now it's time to change out those capacitors. Thanks for watching.